Hello everyone and welcome to our first journalist roundtable here at Euronews. We are going to start with a short debate about media, politics and the growing influence of social media. Here with me are my colleagues to do just that. Anne Glemarek from France. Hello. Samia Meki from Algeria. Salvatore Falco Ciao. from Italy. Sergei Dubin from Russia. Hey. And Tox Salako Hi. from Great Britain. Me, myself, Lena Roche, I am from Germany. So this year we have heard a lot about fake news, uh, intentionally false news that spread rapidly through social media and especially through Facebook. So my question now is what can we as journalists do to combat fake news? Anne? Uh, it's for me. Yes. Well, I think the first thing about fake news is to avoid spreading them. Uh, so of course what we need to do, I suppose, is check our facts, check the facts, and, uh, and uh, be very vigilant. Um, and also remember that maybe speed is not the only priority. Now, uh, fake news are also a problem for social media platforms. And we've seen Facebook uh, yesterday, on Thursday, uh, decide to well, announce uh, they were committing to uh, fight. Uh, fake news through partnerships with about 40 companies mm. um, who are specialized in uh, fact checking basically so that will definitely help because they will flag fake news mm -hmm. who's next maybe verification is it is a must especially when social media tend to be the unique source mm. and I think that story for company is doing a good job. I think uh, the fake news is not only the uh, prerogative, or let's say like that, with a with with negative tone of uh, social media. Unfortunately, in Russia we've seen the example of uh, fake news, or I mean, I would have said obviously fake news, but uh, apparently it wasn't obvious, that were picked up and uh, disseminated by leading TV channels, the so-called story, for example, of a crucified boy during the conflict in the east of mm -hmm. Ukraine, and it was such a complete sham. The traditional media, I should say, we're under pressure now because of resources, because of it, it's, a, it's, lack a, of it's, time. Yeah, it's a lack of time, it's a business, and I think that's the challenge that we're facing mm. now, how to sort of compete with people who were at home and can quickly put out a message. 